Hello, I want to show you how to make a really simple, really easy sub theme for Drupal. I'm going to go through the process first so you can see what I do and then I've got some screenshots with the information on and I'll talk you through it after I've finished so that um, if, you, if you want to do this yourself you'll be able to come back and stop the video on the different screenshots and go from like page one, page two, page three. Pardon me. <coughs> so, you, so it makes it easier for you to follow the, the, um, the process. So first of all what we need is when you log on to your web space you'll see this. These are, these are all the files and folders that are in your web space when you, when you install Drupal. So if you've got Drupal installed on your web space this is what you'll see. But what we need to do, I'm going to make a, um, a sub-theme for the Bartic theme that comes with Drupal. But we need to have the Bartic theme and the sub-theme in the same directory. So we've got, I've downloaded a, a complete version of Drupal. This is Drupal 7 that I downloaded. All I need to do is open that up, look in the Themes folder, and there's Bartic. So I'm going to copy that. And then I want to put it not in the themes folder. This is back on my web space. I don't want to put it in the themes folder. I want to put it in sites, all, themes. And this is where it's going to go. So that, we want that Bartic folder that we've copied in there. Now we want a copy of that. So I'm going to have this twice. We're going to have two of these. I'm going to rename that. So I've got Bartic, Bartic and my sub-theme. So this is going to be my sub-theme. At the moment it's exactly the same as Bartic, except for having a different name. Right, so now we open up this sub-theme. I'm going to delete everything apart from screenshot, logo, this, this info and that. So I'm going to delete template PHP, deleted, templates, deleted, images, deleted, and colour deleted. What we've got left is the CSS directory, Bartic.info, logo and the screenshot. Right. So next we're going to we're going to open the CSS directory and delete everything except that one file. Just C style CSS we're going to keep, but everything else we're going to delete. Keep the style CSS, delete everything else. Right, now we're going to rename this to my sub theme.css. Right, now we want to open this and all the, all the information inside it we're going to delete. So now it's empty. My sub theme, the CSS, is now empty. Save that. Right. Now we want to go back into my sub theme folder. So if open up my sub theme and this Bartic.info, we want to change the name of that to my sub theme.info. Then we want to open it up. We've got to make some changes now. On the the, the um, uh, I've, got, I've got some slides to show you after this, and I'll explain in more detail about what I'm doing here. But basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete these three of these. I'm going to delete them. I'm going to change the name of one of them. That one, I'm going to change it to be uh, my sub theme dot CSS. And we're going to change some of these. We're going to get rid of this package and version. Uh, we're going to change the name of that and we're going to add another line that um, uh, a base theme. So what I'll do change that. Right, now what I've changed this is what you want to end up with. You don't need to worry about from where it says regions here all that you don't need to worry about, just ignore all that. 
what you need to worry about is this bit here but style sheet, core, base theme, description and name now I'm going to explain these all in the, in the, um, in the slides but basically these are the things that you need to worry about we're going to have the name equals my sub theme before it said name equals Bartik so we've changed that if you want to put a dis different description there you can do you don't have to but you, if, you, if you want to you can do this base theme wasn't there before um, and that tells Drupal that this is a sub theme and it is the, the, base, uh, the base theme that this sub theme works with is Bartik this just tells Drupal that it's, it works with Drupal 7, not Drupal 6. And this, we've just told it about a different style sheet. Right, so, let's save that. I think we've done everything we need to do. Um, so, we'll go back to Drupal, and we'll have a look. Right, this is my Drupal installation, and I've, I've made all the changes inside this using FTP so now if we click appearance look at the bottom we've got a new sub theme this is a sub theme we've just made so we click enable and set a default when you set a sub theme you've got to have the base theme we've got Bartik which we put in there as well so we need the base theme and the sub theme so enable and set as default for the sub theme we've just made. Now this one, what we'll do, we'll disable that and then re-enable. Re that was the Batic base theme. But we're actually using a different one, just so Drupal don't get confused. We'll disable it and then re-enable it. Because they're in two different directories. These what we've used here. So this is default. Right, what we've got now, we've got my sub theme, the sub theme we've just made, and we've got Bartik 7.7 .7 from Drupal 7.7. .7. Now, the Bartik we've, we're using now is a different version than we were using originally, because we put both of these into one directory. I don't know if that matters, but we'll do it just in case. Oh, they've got to be in the same directory. Um, whether you need to re-enable it, I'm not sure. It works either way, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. So, let's go back, click Save Configuration, and we should now see no change. The reason we've seen no change is because we're making a sub-theme of this, of, of the Bartik theme. Now, the beauty of this is, all we need to do to make changes is to go into this CSS file, which is now empty, put any changes you want in that CSS file and it will override all of Drupal's original settings it's a really easy way to use um, sub-themes to make a sub-theme and to use one I'm going to explain all that to you in the next video um, oh, so what we'll do now, I'll go through the, the, the screenshots I made for you to explain what I've done and then if you get confused just come back to this bit of the video and slowly go through the different screenshots start and stop the video at these, with these screenshots and it'll tell you what to do so important your sub theme must be in the same directory as your base theme we're going to use the Bartik theme because it is the theme built into Drupal 7 but we can uh, but we will download a new version and put it in the site all themes directory along with our sub theme we cannot download Bartik as a standalone theme we need to download the full Drupal 7 installation and copy the Bartik theme from uh, the themes directory of Drupal 7 we then upload Bartik into the site or themes directory of our website alongside our sub theme I'm calling my sub theme my sub theme right. so we need to make two copies of Bartik we will rename one copy of Bartik to my sub theme and we will change the make, we will make changes to my sub theme and then upload Bartik and my sub theme to the sites all themes directory on our web server right so we copy the theme directory we want to use which we're using Bartik rename the copied directory with your sub theme name my sub theme 
delete everything in my subthin folder except for logo png, screenshot png, banatic.info and css directory. Then delete everything in the css directory except styles.css. Open styles.css, click your point to lo locate it inside the file, press ctrl a to select everything, then press delete to delete all the contents inside styles.css. Save the empty styles.css file as mysubtheme.css, so we change it from styles.css to mysubtheme.css. Now we have a CSS directory with an empty mysubtheme CSS file inside it, bartic.info file, screenshot image and a logo image. Next we rename the bartic.info file to mysubtheme.info. We open mysubtheme.info change name equals bartic to name equals subtheme so we, that, that, these are the things we did in that um, get back there. there we go we're talking about this bit here right delete the lines package and version declare your new style sheet which is that one delete all other style sheets and then add the line base theme equals bartic so the bit this 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 page is important if when you're doing this bit of the process if you get confused come back and look at this page right so the things we have left in the .info file when we change the name from bartic.info to my subtheme.info are things that are not inherited from the base theme to be used by our new subtheme. Almost everything we've uh, in a Drupal subtheme is inherited from the base theme, which is the thing that makes it really good. Now, you've done everything you need to do to make it work. Um, you've set it so your, your subtheme is now active. Now, you won't see any differences yet because it's almost, it is identical to this one. But we're going to change that in the next video, making another video about how to make changes in this um, theme using uh, a, a thing called Firebug. So, watch this video. If, you, if you're doing this yourself, make sure you back up everything before you start. Always, whenever you're doing anything, back up before you start. Back all your stuff up before you start then you won't lose anything. Um, I'll, I'll leave it there because I have to make it a short video that won't fit on YouTube. But come back and watch the video about fire, Firebug and how you can use Firebug to change things like the background colours, the font size, the font type, um, all, all different kinds of things. So I hope you pop back and thanks for watching. Bye.